And hello, welcome to this week's Pastor Capture. I am Reverend Ivy Smith. I am Associate Pastor here at Mentor, and I have with me Reverend Tammy Palermo, who is the pastor of our Family and Children's Ministries, and our Senior Pastor, Reverend Steve Stoltz Costello. This past week in our services, our, our lesson focused around the five and the the five wise and the five foolish versions, ten versions all together. Um, this is in Matthew 25, 1 through 13. If you haven't read it, looked over it, make sure you do. It's an exciting story. Look at Steve's message, at my message on there, and in the messages that we have for the young people, too. Yeah. I was just so, so moved. So, Ivy was in the uh, modern service, and I got to watch yes. that service later. And uh, just amazing teaching. You know, this is a very complex parable and yes. about the traditions of the weddings especially. And I just loved how Pastor Ivy brought out so much rich teaching about uh, that passage and about the wedding and, and uh, just all of us grappling with, you know, this, this parable. But yeah. you brought it home. by Well, well it, it just seemed like a lot. It was a, a lot in that passage. Just so many different ways in and out of it. Um, the modern service is always, always so touching. I mean, the music there is just, you know, phenomenal, mm -hmm. over the top. Um, Dan Gallagher was on the lead music, and Lori um, mm -hmm. Epler, you know, yeah. and Dan really gives it to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I watched the traditional service, and I really liked what you had in there about um, the breath prayer. Uh, to be able to take a breath, how this inspired part is coming from out of Genesis and that um, life was breathed into us, you know, but we have opportunity to, you said, inhale, inhale something affirmative, like mm -hmm. I am a child of God, yeah. or I am, I am a whole person, I am loved, yeah. and then breathe out, but exhale, um, you know, and keep me safe or, you know, whatever your request right, was. I like, right. that. Yeah. I like that. And you also told them that you struggled with that text. Yeah, I did. I, in fact, uh, as I was thinking about that text and preaching on that, I, I kept it in the back of my mind. You get this out-of-body experience while you're preaching, you know, you're thinking <laughs> more things. And I was thinking to myself, gosh, I wish I could be in the Sunday school class talking about Esau and Jacob and the birth <laughs> <laughs> right. You thought right. that while you were yeah, preaching. Yeah, you know, I instead I got to be grappling with this tough, tough parable. I, I could be learning, you know, I could yeah. be in Sunday school yeah. right now. I'm always watching when when you say it's time for the kids to go. I'm like looking, thinking they're going out yeah. to learn something, yeah. something yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we talked about how Isaac was tricked by Jacob and his mom um, to give the birthright, the blessing. Excuse me, the blessing from that he was supposed to give yeah. to Esau and. And um, but the the then we talked about how chaos this caused the chaos mm -hmm. in their family. Oh. Um, but then we also learned that when when the, when there is the chaos, that's when we need to turn to God. Mm. And the word, the faith word for last Sunday was hope, hope. which I thought was great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Want to know what we're doing this week? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, this yeah. week we're if your if your family worships in modern service, we're inviting them, encouraging the students, the children mm -hmm. to stay. There's an interactive um, special worship experience happening. But for those families who are traditional worshipers, they'll be coming down for Sunday school, and we're going to talk about mm -hmm. Jacob having that special dream oh, and the that. angel and the ladder. Oh. And, um, but fascinatingly, last Sunday we had our first evening youth group okay. in a year. And we actually were talking about the same text that you guys preached on. Oh my on. gosh, I'd like to hear that. Yeah, and one of the things that we talked about was how Jesus used a parable, again, representing a wedding, because that was something that everybody would have been able to understand mm -hmm. right, and have a relation with, like to understand what he, you know, a point of reference. Got it, right, got it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, so. yeah, yeah, using everything that we know. Um, this... Uh, passage in Matthew 25, this parable, and then the one that's coming up this week. Um, mm -hmm. I, last time, I, I was going to say, I mentioned to the congregation, you mentioned that I was struggling with it, and I invited the congregation, you know, let's do this together, you know, and I've gotten lots of emails, and I've gotten some responses, I had some people share with me. Um, I loved what um, Glenn said after the service, said, you know, for him, it, it was all about them telling the foolish prize was to go buy, he said, you can't buy it, you can't buy it anymore. So that was a big... 
That was a cool uh, epiphany there too. But this yeah. Sunday, we're going to the next parable in chapter 25, which right. is another difficult one about the parable of the talents. Mm -hmm. And we talked about that in staff. A lot in that today, passage. Mm -hmm. it's a lot in yeah. there. The, the one uh, servant who buries his talent. Mm -hmm. and his talent. One has five, one has two, and then has the one talent. Yeah. And he decides to bury it. Um, but then we wonder what, what do the ones with the five and the two, the responsibility they right. had in, you know, in the talent. Yeah. It's, it's a lot in that story. Yeah. I think, I think Jesus is messing with us. <laughs> you well, know? he's trying to get us to understand. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't, you know, it's not going to be an easy, easy one, one solution on this. You know, we're going to keep wrestling with it. Yeah, we're going to keep wrestling, keep wrestling until it becomes so. clearer. And you guys, again, you're doing with a Jacob's Ladder. Uh -huh. And I love that. I remember hearing a sermon about that one time because he, he wrestles with God and wakes up with a dislocated hip for the rest of the life. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. and we tend to think of if you're a person of faith, you know, certainly if you're wrestling with God, you get, you know, he, he wrestles for that blessing. Yeah. But what yeah. he gets is a blessing, but he also gets a dislocated hip. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'll never forget. So. I always love that song, We Are Climbing Jacob's mm -hmm. We Are Climbing Jacob's Ladder. We Good Are stuff. Climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, just looking ahead real quick, because one of the things I'm looking forward to is Advent. Oh, yeah. And, and what I want to plant the seed for you with that is um, we got so much going on. On December 3rd, we got the cantata. And yeah. Ivy and I are gonna, we're going to switch that up. We're going to be, both be at the modern and both be at the traditional because we want mm -hmm. to do the cantata. Yeah. But also, we'll be doing a similar material for Sunday school. We're going to incorporate what's happening yeah. in the worship with the Sunday school. Yeah. So that'll be exciting. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. And we're looking for folks to sign up to light the candles. Ooh, great, great opportunity. Candles. Great opportunity. For Advent. Yeah. Well, thank you for tuning in to our Pastor Capture. We have services at 9 and 11 in modern and in traditional. Take time to share, subscribe, and like. like. And like. <laughs> like us. I like that. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Pastor, Pastor Capture. Capture.